сосновка. Three people were killed Friday in a crash involving a senior living facilities bus and a dump truck in Southern Maryland, state police said. The crash happened around 8 a.m. when the bus lost control on Port Tobacco Road in Nanjamoy in Charles County and hit the dump truck, Maryland State Police said in a news release. Police did not know why the bus lost control, but said investigators don't believe that impairment was a factor in the crash. The bus driver and two passengers died at the scene and the dump truck driver was reported not injured, police said. Police did not immediately release the names of the three people who were killed. Recently, monitoring channels reported that the so-called Crimean Bridge illegally built by the Russian Federation is falling apart and requires repairs. A representative of the Ukrainian Navy, Dmitry Pletenchuk, suggested that if this is true, the structure could have been overloaded. The enemy cannot afford to use this facility to its full extent and the main logistics were based on the railway ferry crossing, which is currently not working. Frankly speaking, the enemy has little choice but to additionally load this infamous bridge, Pletenchuk said on air at Espresso. He added that information about possible man-made damage to the bridge, which appeared simultaneously with data that the number of fuel trucks operating there in Crimea has increased, is currently being checked. Of course, this information about the fuel tankers will also be checked repeatedly. I cannot officially confirm it now, but in the form of conclusions we see that the enemy's fears were apparently not groundless. And I remind you that these fears were the result of direct fire impact on this facility during joint operations of the Ukrainian army and the navy. Therefore, we are monitoring the development of events. We hope that in the future they will continue to develop naturally, the speaker emphasized.
He also said that the situation in the Azov Black Sea region has not changed as of now. In particular, there are no enemy ships on duty in the Azov Sea, while in the Black Sea, there is a missile carrying submarine, which is most likely performing tasks to protect the enemy base in Novorossiysk. Pletenchuk added that the enemy has recently been using sea-based missiles of the caliber type during combined attacks on Ukraine in order to create mass and burden the Ukrainian air defense. According to the speaker, one of the eight missile carriers of the Russian Black Sea Fleet is under repair. Almost all combat units are currently stationed in Novorossiysk, while support vessels and units that were unable to leave the Ukrainian peninsula on their own or those that are under repair remain in Crimea. Let us recall that the Atesh Partisan movement reported the destruction of the structures of the Kirsch Bridge elements. As reported in the telegram of the movement, the Crimean bridge requires urgent repairs since some structures have already begun to crumble. No one pays due attention to the bridge and as a result of the damage received, the structural elements of the bridge are degrading, which leads to the crumbling of its individual parts. The partisans also noted that the number of air defense systems in Crimea continues to decrease, which makes the bridge even more vulnerable.